Now we will start the chapter particle dynamics. So suppose there is an object which is moving with some velocity v then all its particles with which the object is made up of they will move with the same velocity so as to maintain the shape and size of the object. So suppose that we have an object which is moving with velocity v then all the particles inside this object any particle which you can think of they will move with the same velocity v this is necessary so as to maintain the shape and size of this object the dynamics of the entire object can be studied by studying the dynamics of a single point inside this object now this single point we'll call it center of mass so object is considered as a point mass at its center of mass we'll define center of mass later so if resultant of all the force acting on a body passes through its center of mass then all the particles of an object will have same instantaneous velocity so to understand this let there be an object with mass m so there is a point inside or outside this object where the object is considered to be acting like as a point mass we will call this point as center of mass so let's say this is the center of mass of this object of mass m now suppose there are some forces which is which are acting on this object f1 f2 f3 so if the resultant of this these forces let's say this is f so f will be equal to f1 plus f2 plus f3 so if the resultant force that is f passes through the center of mass suppose this is our resultant force f which is passing through center of mass so if this is the case then all the particles which constitutes this object they will move with the same velocity so suppose the object is moving with velocity v and is being acted upon by three forces f1 f2 and f3 and the resultant of these forces that is f is passing through the center of mass then all the particles of this object will move through move with the same velocity v now we will define system of particle system of particle is region of space enclosed by a hypothetical boundary containing all the particles or objects in our consideration at a particular time so suppose at any given time we have defined some reason like this so suppose this is the reason in question this is the boundary of this reason so all the particles inside this reason they will constitute the system of particles so these particles can be of same mass of different mass whatever be the case so this is our system of particle there may be some particle outside this reason but once we have defined the boundary of our reason only those particles which are inside this boundary they will constitute the system of particle now we'll see what is frame of reference frame of reference is the coordinate system with respect to which the position velocity and acceleration of the mass of particle is defined so suppose we have a system of particle say this is point a and we have particle p1 with mass m1 we have another particle p2 with mass m2 this is point b 
So suppose that we have defined a coordinate system with origin at O. So if this is our frame of reference then we'll try to find out the velocity, position, vector and acceleration of particle with respect to this frame of reference. So suppose this is velocity vector R1 this is our velocity vector R2 if we take some other frame of reference that is some other coordinate system which is which has its origin here O1 then you'll see that the position vector and the velocity vectors and the acceleration vector of these particles will change now we call a frame of reference inertial if the velocity of the frame remains constant it also means that frame if a frame is at rest then also that frame of reference is inertial if the frame is accelerated it's called non-inertial frame of reference and Newton's law holds good only in inertial frame of reference